Hello, I'm joined by Alan Dowson after this afternoon's 2-1 win against Burnham. Uh, Alan, we could have scored a dozen, it seemed, but uh, yep. in the end we were, again, quite uh, grateful to hear the final whistle. Oh. Hit, hit the woodwork twice. Was it, was it bad finishing or, or bad luck? Bit of both, I think. Um, careless, because we got off to a great start again. And um, when you can tune it up, Andrea, two goals, then we've missed some good chances. I think we have had a couple as well. I didn't think we played particularly great, to be honest. Um, but I'm delighted about the win, because we've got a Matty Sumba not able to play it a dear big loss for uh, obviously Tom Bird couldn't play it a dear big loss Craig Mullen was ill this morning uh, so the squad got to play it a little bit to be honest um, the lads who come in and done alright to tell you too but sometimes like I just got to forget about the game and win it and I knew people made it for yeah it could have been 3, 4, 5 and the chances in the second half will miss were quite poor finishing yeah but the thing is I can live with a bit of poor finishing if we were, tops, if we were near the bottom of the league or mid table in the league or whatever and we weren't scoring goals then you would say, listen, we've got to do something about that, but we're scoring goals left, right, and centre. Like, we have been all season, the highest goal scores in the league. I'll keep on seeing it at this minute, and I will keep on seeing that until somebody takes over. So, uh, at the same time, it might be poor finishing, a bit of bad luck, but I still think we should have went on and uh, be a bit more professional with job and won by more. There you go. Um, obviously, we, we are making a lot of chances. Yeah. The team looks in really good, re really confident at the moment, particularly uh, McCollin and Patterson. What's the what's the mood in the dressing room like? Is it is it as good no, as it did, looks? No, it's the uh, mood stayed disappointing. I have a very good at my half time because I thought we just got by. In the second half, we've done better, um, but we hung on a little bit. We had a couple because he has them a lot of big lads when they put the ball in the box and we're not and conceded a sloppy goal. And it's just getting through the tie really like, you know, So uh, you know, Patterson done okay here yeah, to the end. Um, Andrea's got yourself two girls, but uh, the, the, the two matter is we should have confidence because they're good players. Patterson's a good player, Andrea's a good player, and should be the highest goal scorer in the league, I think, at the minute. Um, so uh, uh, it's the good thing at the minute is because obviously what happened the last couple of years, we had one goal scorer all the time. Now we're getting a few more. I know, and but and but we we have created a lot of chances. But I just think sometimes when it's like I just kill the game and finish the chances, especially when you're yard out or you're clean for the keeper. I don't mind going clean for the keeper and he saves one or two. But we have had a couple of deer where I just think just put the ball in the back of the net, will you? But there you go. That's what happens, you know. Case have uh, obviously a strong history in the trophy. Yeah. Uh, through to next round now. What what are you looking for from in the next round? Sutton home. Sutton at home. If you ask us what I would like, that be you do, don't you? you? Play cup games and that's what you want to do. We've had some great battles in the few years, the last few years we've had some great battles with them so if somebody asked me who would you want I would say let's get something down here, let's get the game on, let's get five, six, seven hundred people back again, put myself on the map, that's the thing I had a dream of about the FA Cup, so if we're going to do it, let's do it the right way and all that you know and stuff like that, so I'm not saying we will get him and it'll be a hell of a game because he's got a good side, does he, all his head's done, but we've had some great battles in the last couple of years and because he went up the league, you miss them sort of games you know, you, you do, you miss them, so uh, if anybody asks me who I would like, I would like to have something to him. And get game on. I think we'd all like that. Yeah. Um, away from the actual stuff on the pitch, we get a bit of prize money for uh, winning this game today. Yeah. Uh, how does that affect things? Is that something that's already been budgeted for? Or does that does that is that any more cash in the pocket? No, it, was, it, it probably enables us to keep the squad um, as long as we can. Because it would be fair this year, because I've had the backing off the board, as you know, um, we've got a bigger squad than we've ever had, which helps because we've had three different things going wrong for us today. Um, like I say with young Craig, who's a good squad player. And, Pushing all the time. Matty Sumba has been ever present except for Wheelston when I left him out, give him a rest there. Um, it enables you to put Lodgy on the bench at this. And when you've got a, a squad in Birdie, obviously, when you're missing three or four players and all that, you know, you can put three or four in and all that, it makes a hell of a difference. So the things we, we, I'm not just saying it, we might have to put a few Academy boys in, a young lads who do all, all right and do great, but not really ready for a big cup tie like this at the minute. Um, it, that's the difference at the minute. So I just think that they might just keep working. You know, taking along to be honest, like, you know, and I've got to make some decisions coming up in the next few weeks. Of course, I can because I don't think I can keep everybody happy, and it wouldn't be right to keep everybody happy. But I've learned in my management that I let it keep eight or nine happy, I think. And it, as it comes up to Christmas, you've got to keep eight or nine happy and put your hat on the team. And the one to one quite getting in, maybe he's letting go a little bit out on loan or get games like Mokinoki, he's done where I went to see him yesterday, done very well, and he's trying to come back at the minute. Um, so it's little things like that, like, you know, I think um, Bash has got to get a few games, and uh, you're looking, you, I may have to do a little bit of wheeling, but when I do that, it's a right time, but I certainly won't be doing it while we're in this competition, so it enables everybody to stick together, to be honest. Um, if we were losing in the league, then I'll be saying, oh, yeah, whatever happens, I'll uh, put the FA trophy to the side because you kind of sign players for the trophy because they've got the ones up there doing give people away um, in the conference south because of cup ties and the ones below have already played in the game so it's a, it's a catch 22 where because we're winning in the league games i can keep the whole squad together and i think that's good for the club and good for us and we haven't made that many changes this year you know
I understand you've, uh, you're close to the management of Burnham. Is, is that true? No, it's just a manager. Lobby Craig, a great lad. He's really in there. Um, he, 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 you know, he signed me. I got a lot of thank him for it, to be honest. He signed me at Walton. Hamzy knew him from Tooting. He signed me at um, Walton Hersham. Obviously, a good judge of player. And um, he, he's, um, we had some good times together, you know, like you know, and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of few drinks together, you know, like you know, and stuff like that. But, uh, He's, um, I, I, it was nice to see him and uh, like I, said, I, had, I got a lot of thank for him and uh, he was a great lad and uh, he's got them playing no wonder a big strong side like I think everybody was over six foot two to be honest it was a big strong game so I wish him well for the season you know with, with that with that in mind can you put today's uh, result in context what, is that a team we should have beaten easily or, uh, or you, can, you can only beat what's in front of you I sort of said because like, we've had chances and things you know, the, the, something's just got to see a kit, bin it. And that's what I sort of said. Well, it's been the game, and we'll concentrate on Wingate on Saturday because you can't go into the oh, yeah, that should have been clear for the goal. We should have scored, we should have scored there, we should have got tight on midfield, we should have not give them a sniff in the game, and all you know. Senior players knew that anyway, so I give a bit of a, we had a bit of a set to our half time with them to liven up a little bit. Um, but when you miss chances like that, which you know, I'm not saying the open goals but just the boot and when you don't get tight as you should in midfield and when you do get a bit sloppy at the back I think players know that anyway so sometimes you've got to say listen bin the game let's get back to lower stuff let's get back to where we are again we've had a couple of games where I thought we'd just done enough here to beat Carl Shorten and uh, I saw Carl Shorten midweek against Whitehawk and should have won the game so they're any mugs even though yes they didn't do very well um, but let's just get back but if you're winning games sometimes you've just got to say okay but you're still winning games and I remember a few years ago when we went top of the league in this league and um, went to third top and I think I might have pressed the panic button a bit too quick and started getting rid of Lodge again and people like that again and, and, um, but uh, with a group of players I've got I have got a belief that this side's not bad and um, so I think I've got to be a bit more patient myself a little bit and uh, you know we need one or two tweaks I think eventually but at the minute we win football matches and that's what they're paid to do and to be fair all the games are entertaining we didn't get any nil nils every game's entertaining even today crossbar should have scored clean through chance 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 it all is entertaining here like you know so uh, uh, you know, hopefully we'll bring a few more supporters in playing like that, and I think people should get a, you know, it should we'll go around that we are trying to play attacking football. Where today, by well, the front two, who's the best in the league, went on song. Where well, um, Clayton, who's the excellent on the ball, you know, and legs going forward. Goma legs going forward. Patter scores goals. Got uh, Hook scores goals. We've got Lodge to come on who scores goals. And so I think we're, when you look at us, we'll all score goals. It's just that we can keep them out at the other end, which is the problem. Which um, I'm hoping we're doing better at, you know. Uh, well done for today. Best of luck against Wingate. Excellent. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers, Montauk. Thank you. Mm -hmm.